All right, guys, so Sam, if you guys aren't familiar with his channel, uh, go over there. Uh, but uh, I know he's already explained this on his, but uh, he's going to explain it on mine because I think this stuff is pretty cool. I don't get to do much excavation, but I think <clears throat> all this 2D and 3D stuff on these machines, you know, all the technology, I'm a nerd when it comes to this stuff, and I, I really like all the all that technology and I, I love to know how it works so uh this thing has <clears throat> trimble technology and cat installed this right the cat install this i bought i bought the machine without the grade control system well, let me back up because this machine and the 308 does have a basic uh grade control and that it, it tells you the position of the cab and and yeah uh, and all that so that's that's on there so you know your percentage is whatever as a position you're sitting in so I bought the machine uh, that way, and then I bought uh, from uh, Cytec, I think is, well, let me put that in there. What's the name of that company? I forget the name of it. But anyway, I bought the Tremble Earthworks system uh, independent from CAT, but CAT did it. They did install it at the CAT dealership. Okay. So they came in and installed it. But this, this particular Tremble Earthworks system is a 2D grade control. And it works by sensors and a computer in the cab. So it's got a sensor on the dog bone here that shows the position of the buckets. It's got a laser catcher, which uh, kind of keeps you on grade. And we'll explain that in just a minute. It also has a sensor on the stick. It has a sensor on the boom. And then there's a sensor in the cab. All those sensors are working together to tell the computer system uh, where you need to be and how you're supposed to be digging. So when we move into the cab. Oh, you want me to get up there? Okay. <laughs> So when you get into here, you just hit the login screen. I don't have a passcode on it. And it's gonna log us into the system. And then what we wanna do, basically to, we just hit the start button. And uh, first thing you wanna check, because I've made this mistake many times, is go down to the settings here, and you want to pick the attachment that you're using. So right now that's set on a cat 48 inch grade bucket. If we start digging, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that that doesn't look like are you sure that's not a 48 inch grain bucket? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we should measure. Yeah, so we got a 24. So that's the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have the right bucket selected. So these are pre-programmed. When they set up this system, they actually measured each bucket and, and installed it. So we'll hit the cat 24 inch bucket, hit select. So now we're off to a good start. Next thing you want to do is uh is, is make sure that you don't have a benchmark already set. And I can tell from these blue lines right here that, there is, that there's already a benchmark set in here, so we wanna clear that. So as you basically go back into settings, go into bench elevation, hit the clear button, and then you've zeroed out the machine. So now then you know that your machine is, is, uh, is set with no benchmarks, you got the right bucket on it. One other thing you wanna check is your uh, Make sure that your, your slope is reset. So we'll hit that till we get down to a zero a level slope. So now then this machine is ready to set up. What we wanna do, what we're gonna simulate here is we're gonna simulate digging a uh, 12 inch footing, uh, say for a house. So we'll start the machine up. It's probably gonna reset that. There you go. Oh, it reset this? I thought it would. It didn't reset. Mm -hmm. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we need to know what our benchmark is. So I'm gonna work the, no I'm not, that's okay. on backhoe control, <laughs> we're gonna do it. <laughs> One other thing that we wanna do is, is uh, there is a setting in here. I'm gonna put it on the ground. It's doing by the teeth. Oh, by the teeth, yeah. okay, so you want me to? Yeah, so just take the teeth and touch the teeth on the ground up there somewhere. Okay. Straight up and down. Oh, well, on the up and down? Yep. Oh. All right, now we're good. We got teeth on the ground. All right, so that's telling us that we are on level grade and uh, right now that that's where, where that setting is level. So we're gonna raise that up just to stop that. Well, let me set the benchmark right there first. Okay. So we're gonna go in here and hit that, hit bench elevation, and we want to set the benchmark. Now then, that is our benchmark. So Devin's gonna raise the boom ups stop that noise from going off there we go so now then what we want to do is go in here and set our offset that that is our benchmark we know that we want to dig a footing 12 inches below that setting so we'll go in here to the settings again and this is where we go in and do the elevation offset so we'll go into that and we're going to do a 12 inch bench or 12 inch uh, footing 
offset there. We hit that, and that's got to be a negative. And you can see it right here on the little thing. He's actually dropping it off that benchmark right there. It's going, it says 12 inches right there. Yep. <clears throat> so now we have a 12 inch negative offset. So we'll hit apply. And now that it's showing these markers here, these red markers, that's how much dirt has to come out before we get down to a uh, level grade. So when Davin starts to dig, uh, he'll, he'll dig that footing out until he gets this down to this marker right here which tells him he's then on grade. All right, so Sam's gonna hold the camera. Just don't move, I'm standing on tracks. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, don't move. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give us a little bit of juice here. Don't need much. And when you get close to your grade, the, it's gonna start beeping at you just like a, a receiver or a laser. Grade control. So now then, what that's telling him is that he, you hear that fast tone, fast tone means he's high, so he's getting down close to grade. So the bottom of your teeth is what it's checking. So what yep. you want to do when you get your footing down close is you want it to do like you're going to clean the footing yep. out. And when you turn those teeth under like that and you start pulling, it's still reading the point of the teeth. Okay. So we're at grade, so the bottom of the teeth were at grade right yes. there. Yes. Yep. So what, what he's doing now is the, the machine is, is measuring the, where the t tip of those teeth is. So what he's doing now is sticking his bucket down in there and he's pulling flat across through there to get the bottom of this footer level and on grade. So when he hits that solid tone and he's pulling a, a level ditch, that tells him that bottom of that footer is on grade. Yeah. So as you can see right there, that's still a little high. A little high. There we are. So that's that's great right yep. there. So when you get used to that, you start pulling that flat, uh, cleaning out that ditch, listening to that tone. You keep it steady like that and you're pulling smooth across the bottom of the footer, you've got a level smooth uh, footer on grade. Yep, there you go. All right, so that's how, let me take a look at this ditch. So now then he's got the bottom of that, that footer cleaned out and that uh, little high right there, but he had it on grade there a minute ago, right there. So that's on grade. Now then what we wanna do is talk about moving. Uh, so we're gonna turn this laser back on. Wait a bit before you move. Oh. So before he can move, he's got to dip this laser catcher right here. This laser catcher has to read the laser beam coming from that transit. And when it does that, it's gonna say laser accepted on the screen. So raise your, st your uh, stick up until you hear laser accepted right there. So now that it says laser strike accepted, that means that he can now move. And then when he gets to the position where he wants to stop, he'll dip that laser catcher back into the laser and it'll recalibrate everything in here to his new position. So we back up. Yeah. All right, so now he's moved. He's gonna dip that stick back down into the laser. laser accepted it has changed all of the the data in here to his new position so now he can start digging again Look at that, both of those arrows are within the green, 
and that's telling him that he is level and on grade in the bottom of that footy. And that's exactly what it'll look like. A good, clean, smooth footing going through there. <clears throat> So that's it. That's how, and you can do a lot of other different things. Yes. I mean, that's, this is just a basic. simplified, this is very, very basic um, of what this thing can do. But uh, this is, if you're a one man show like Sam Absolutely. is, this is a huge time saver. Um, doing things like footings or drainage, or even what we were doing, if you were doing that for a sewer and it had to be right. on a slope, cause this will do slopes. Septic systems. Yeah, I mean, uh, for plumbing. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff, um, anything that would have to be on a slope or a grade or a downfall um, for drainage, you could do it for ditch drainage. It, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a trench. You could do ditches for making sure you've got slope for, you know, ditch draining. Um, there's so many applications for this, and it keeps you from having to get out of the machine to put a rod in your hand. Right. It, it either keeps you from having to do that or hire somebody out for the day to stand in the ditch and check grade with the laser while you dig you know so this thing literally pays for itself either in time of you having to get in and out of the machine or the labor cost of having someone else to come out here and help you it's ex it's expensive i'm not going to pretend like it's not that is an expensive system to put on a machine but the way i look at it the time and effort it's going to save me and the money it's going to save me from having to hire somebody to run a grade rod and spread that cost out over the life of the machine, yep. it's a no-brainer. Yep. I mean, it's just absolutely worth every penny of it uh, so that you can do that on your own. You never have to get out of the machine. And, and again, this is very basic. The amount of different things that the applications when it comes to excavation and grade work that you can apply this to are unlimited. You know, really the only limit you have is the size of the machine. Right. This thing will do grade on anything. Actually, uh, not on the small machines right now, but on the bigger machines, yep. like the 313s, 320s, 323s, those type machines, they're actually set to automatic. All you gotta do is pull the stick back on the boom, yep. and it will adjust the stick and the bucket and keep it on grade. You're just moving the boom, yep. and it's doing everything else for you. Similar to what you were doing on the dozer, yep. using the uh, uh, automatics on it. So yeah, I mean, that's that's one of those things, that's a big boon for you know the operator you know the, the companies you know that are out doing site work if they have a machine like that they can literally put a novice yeah. yeah a novice in that machine and they're going to hit grade on every pass you know yeah, it's they'll, like they'll dump a cad file in that yep and the operator has all that information on the screen and what they're supposed to do yep so um if you guys are interested in getting one of these things uh this is through like i said trimble earthworks and uh you know you can contact whoever your trimble people are but this is a really cool system um, you know, for doing, I don't do much dirt work or grade work. You guys know my channel. I, I, I take trees and turn them into little pieces, <laughs> but I love this kind of stuff. It's so cool to see, um, and to see the technology that we have now with some of this, this stuff. Um, it's come a long way and it's going even further. So I, I just think this stuff is so cool. So if you do a lot of, um, uh, you know, excavation type work, anything from utilities, septic, basements, drainage ditches anything footings concrete work this right here you know you know even like i said it's going to have some cost but it could save you a lot of time and money as well to have something like this in your machine so appreciate sam giving us a rough overview of this system on this machine and that was really cool so uh if you guys got any questions go over to sam's channel and he'll be happy to uh help you uh, guys out with any any of the more advanced questions about this thing that uh, you've got and if i don't have an answer to your question i'll make something up <laughs> <laughs> all righty guys i appreciate it